excuse us. How old is she? Um, they are 15 months old. We actually use they them pronouns for gray until they oh. tell us who they are. That's why you were like, who, what? Oh, oh wow. Okay, so. They. They. Uh-huh. Awesome. Well, enjoy the pride parade. Did you say thank you? Thank you. We are pulling apart this idea of sex, which is related to genitals, and gender, which is related to how you move in the world. So what you wear, how you share your identity with other people, all of those things are related to gender. Guess who's been paying off a car for 18 months of a 36-month lease and just found out what a car lease is? That is so much money to pay to rent a car for 36 months. Are you kidding me? Oh, how did you know? Didn't you read the contract? I did, and I didn't understand the contract. No one's checking what I sign. They were like, here's your car. And I was like, yippee. The only thing getting me through those payments was the idea that I, I was going to own it at the end. The Republicans better have something pretty special up their sleeve if they're going to try and beat what they did last time. Donald Trump, just last week, he confirmed to the National Review that he is again considering a run in 2016. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Look, look at me. Do it. I will personally write you a campaign check now on behalf of this country, which does not want you to be president, but which badly wants you to run. <laughs> Send help. Order up here. And that one comes in and hits Acuna. What is it with the Marlins in hitting the world the pitch? And got him. And Acuna gets hit up and in. And you know the history between Acuna and the Marlins. And he's hit by the pitch. And now Acuna Jr. is walking out to the mound. On about the history between the Marlins and Acuna, and there we go. First pitch of the game, he gets smoked. That ball, here it comes. Oh. Not like that. Whoa. Not that, obviously. And here we go. Yeah. <laughs> well, Ronald Acuna Jr. has been through this before with the Marlins. Remember, this was a back and forth that took place when Jose Urania uh -oh. ended up hitting Acuna. From Urania. And he hit him again. With a clean slate. And he's true to his word. And Acuna got hit with the first pitch of the game. So he's going to flip the bat. He's going to very slowly walk toward first base. Now that one up and in on Acuna, who was not happy about getting hit. And he got smoked on the very first pitch. Chad Fairchild right out in front of the plate. Acuna tosses the out looking at Urania. And now both benches are going to empty. Brad Snickers leading the charge. That's a dog. A dog asshole. You feel me? This is Cobb organization. And they want to fucking fire me for some unjust shit because this racist ass bitch want to play with me. Yeah, don't say shit. You know not to say shit. Fuck out of here. These bitches want to fire me. Then you got this nigga. He the property. He the fucking project manager and shit. He supposed to be staying on business, but he's sucking her fucking pussy. So now he not trying to stand on business and let a nigga keep his fucking job. Something fucking what? She be bending you over? She, she stick the strap in? Huh? She be fucking you in your ass? Huh? Shut up. Nobody want to hear shit from you. Fuck y'all. Give me my paperwork. Give me my paperwork. Thanks, Give me my paperwork. Shut the fuck up, Melissa, you mouse ass hoe. Shut up. Look at you. You look fucking crazy. You mad because I ain't give you no dick. I know what the real problem is, bitch. And I should have been filed sexual harassment on that ass when you said the first couple of remarks, you dumb bitch. Shut up. Yeah. Yeah, I should have been. I should have been. I knew it. The moment you found out Shorty right here, you started acting different. I'm glad. I hope the fuck she is. I hope the fuck she is. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck all y'all. Give me my motherfucking paperwork. Give me my motherfucking paperwork. Y'all look fucking crazy.
Look, I look like the fucking the slave master now, don't I? I look like the slave master now, don't I? Fuck y'all. Got the fucking audacity to have farms and shit and try to play with a young nigga by this paper. Fuck y'all. 100%. 100%. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Where's my paperwork? Where's my paperwork? Where's my paperwork? Y'all stand here well, watching me. Already, I'm about to get 30 for the ass. Finish. I'm about to get 30 for the ass. <clears throat> Since y'all wanna watch me. Hold on. That's what y'all like? That's what y'all like? Yo. Tiny, why are you Shut like? the fuck up, why bitch. You like Shut the fuck up, that? bitch. Shut up. Don daughter. Don Dada. Don Dada the farm 43. Why the fuck they done fired the Don Dada? These dumb ass bitches, you got ties, you got Melissa's bitch ass in this motherfucker trying to play with Don. You recording me, bitch? Fuck you. Fuck you. I don't give a fuck. You was unjust. You was unjust. This is what the fuck y'all want to I am calm. I am relaxed. I am a happy tree. <laughs> you are making it very hard. I just want a regular chicken sandwich. But I can't do half of it with You don't have to. So you just want a chicken sandwich? Yes. All right. Do you want the onions and peppers in it? Yes. Please leave. I'm not making your sandwich. I'm refusing your service now. Please leave. Please leave. Ma'am. Please leave. Ma'am. Why are you not making Please. a sandwich? Because you're at you're acting like I'm stupid. So I am asking you to leave. I'm refusing your service now. I would appreciate it if you left my building. Call the police. I will call the cops on you. Okay. I will do it. I'll wait here to just to find no, out. You can wait outside. Well, I'll wait you here. You can wait outside. I'll wait here. I am asking you to leave my building because you're treating me like garbage. So I need you to leave, please. How did I treat you like garbage? I need you to leave. I'm just saying okay. Please. If you're saying okay, then please get out of my building. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm literally having on recording. That's what she said. Ma'am. I was talking to him. I can refuse service to anybody, so I'm going to need you to Where does it say that at? It says that in my handbook, so please. Can you show me that? No. Okay, well, call the police. Ma'am, get out of my building. No, because I'm going to report you for this. For what? Be refusing service to me because I asked for a sandwich. You asked for something that I could not make you. And then when I, I said I, I out, said I wanted a chicken sandwich, I asked for a chicken sandwich. I still keep asking please, for a chicken please, sandwich. I'm not making it. I thought that we've been through this. May you please exit my building? I'm waiting for the police. I haven't called them. Because I'm going to sue them. I'm going to sue you for oh, mistreating okay. me. Okay. Yes, I am. Okay, that's me. It's 3 a.m. on a Sunday night. All my friends are getting drunk, getting invited to parties and losing their virginity. And I spent all night working on my business. But just watch, in a couple of months, when I'm going to be chilling in Dubai and living my dream life, you guys are going to call me lucky. Just watch. Yeah, hi. Um, look at my watch here. Oh. Shut out at 901. Oh, does, so you're saying it doesn't matter what time the thing says? Yeah, you, you're gonna you're gonna close you're gonna close before the time actually. That's right. Uh -huh. Okay. For security reasons. Exactly. Se security reasons. Yeah, okay. You. Yeah. You're being video just to let you know, and I'm going to be reporting this. Yeah. Yeah. You guys close before your time. You guys decide that you're just going to close and screw people out of their medication and everything like that. That's fine. I'm ready recording this. It's before 9. The store hours are until 9 p.m. It is before 9. You guys are closing before 9. I need to get my medication. You guys have decided to close early. Therefore, I cannot get my medication this evening. Okay. Yeah, I notice they don't care. They don't care that somebody can't get their medication because they've decided to close before they're the time that you're supposed they're supposed to be closed.
And the guy even said it right to my face that he just, just decided to close early and screw me and not getting my medication. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this all, I'm going to put you all on blast on TikTok, on YouTube. Enjoy being famous. Uh, hey, my, my, my name is Arson and I was wondering if you want to see my Vem book and I am, um, we're friends now, so I guess you can see it if you want. Um, <laughs> I don't show a lot of people this. Well, you ready? Um, this is, this is, this is my, um, my OC. He's been through some things. That's a scar. I have some mushrooms and eyes. Um, I'm not emo. I'm all get 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 it right. A lot of people call me emo. I I'm not emo. Um, broken. I I'm broken, but I guess I'm saying I'm okay for that. People don't worry. Um. Uh, <laughs> this is a. Fun basketball team that was not allowed to compete in a tournament because they are girls. These sixth graders play for Next Level Academy. This is in the greater Cincinnati area and all season long they've been playing boys teams and winning. They have a seven and one record. However, they were barred from participating in the tournament run by the Southwest Basketball League. Allegedly, according to Next Level Academy, this is the rationale that they gave in their texts to the organization. Southwest Ohio basketball was not allowing the girls team to compete because they are worried that if the boys lose to the girls, especially in a year-end tourney, the boys might get frustrated and retaliate against a girl. And you may be thinking, this was an exaggeration, maybe Next Level took something out of context. Oh, no, no, no. Because in the statement that the tournament organization put out, they defended their choice and said that they were keeping the safety of the kids participating at the top of their priorities list. To repeat, one of the most urgent concerns that they had was that the girls would beat the boys and that the boys would harm the girls in some way. And side note, then they would be liable for that was also one of their concerns. But should this surprise us when we live in a culture that does not address the root cause of the issue when it comes to violence against women and girls and femme people? We lecture girls and women and femme people about how to protect themselves. And we do not address the issue of why they might need to protect themselves in the first place. 
Imagine how different it would be if they had reason to be concerned that boys would retaliate and they were worried about the safety of the girls, that they canceled the fucking boys tournament. Imagine the culture we would live in if our first impulse was to say, well, you clearly have a behavioral problem, so you shouldn't have a tournament. <laughs> And until we can spend some time working with you to get you to a place where you understand that it would be wrong to commit some sort of act of aggression against somebody because they are a different gender than you and because your pride and masculinity feels hurt, then you cannot compete in a tournament that would cause such stress and pressure as to, as to encourage you to lash out violently against someone else. We don't live in that culture. What we do is we say, well, the girls shouldn't play in the tournament. It's for their own safety. And if I seem hyped up over the, like I fucking am, because even though I'm on this app day in and day out talking about this shit and then out in the real world living it, when it comes to children, it sends me to another level because here is where we are repeating the patterns. We are repeating the same fucking patterns and we will receive the same results. The one silver lining is that the Next Level Academy pulled all of their athletes from the tournament and said, if our girls can't play, then no one can play. I hope and trust that they followed it up with the communication and education with their boys to make sure that their boys weren't blaming the girls for not being able to play in What was your first kiss like? Have you had one yet? No, actually. You're lying. I actually have not kissed a girl ever in my entire life. Okay, you want to kiss me? Yes. Take control. <laughs> what were you just trying to do? I was trying to kiss you like you said to kiss you, and I thought, I, get, I thought wrong. I'm either getting cold or I'm lifting weights. Look at all these people standing around. What are you doing with your life? Get some weights, get cold, get some bonding in. Eat, sleep, move, seal, connect, cold, sun, fight. That's right, fight. That's right, fight. Bond.